Welcome back to another episode on the Solex series. As you can see, the engine is off, and that will be the theme for this episode, the engine removal and disassembly. So let's get straight to it. So we'll go ahead and have a look at the engine. I will start by removing the spark plug and the air filter and the head and have a look at the cylinder. Uh, feeling at the bearings, they feel fine, they rotate fine, but I can move this engine so easily, I don't think it has any compression. So either the piston rings are stuck or they broke when this bike got stored, but we'll have to look inside the engine for that. So I'm just going to start by tearing down the top and we'll go from there. Check this out. I've actually pulled the paint of the return line with the rubber line. So this thing is so dry rotted and has completely fused with the paint apparently. As soon as I pulled it off, I just stripped all the paint with it. Pretty funny. So we got the head off. The inside of the cylinder actually looks fine. Oh, still looks fine. But uh, I'm going to remove the gas tank and the exhaust and the inlet manifold so we can actually take the cylinder off and have a good look at the cylinder and the piston. So just these four bolts here for the cylinder and then bolt here, bolt on the bottom and one in the back for the fuel tank, this one which is actually not connected and then just a couple of bolts for the inlet and the exhaust manifold. So let's just take these off and have a look. <laughs> look at this tiny engine. So I also had to remove the fuel lines, but now we can pull the cylinder or not. Let's put the piston all the way down. What are we stuck on? Huh. Oh, yeah. Now, there we go. Uh -huh. There we go. So that's the cylinder, it actually looks all right. I have seen far worse. Not sure if there are different types, well, there are different types, but if there are more types than the double or triple transfer port, not sure. Uh, I will do some investigation. I'm not that familiar with these engines. Not sure if we will reuse this one or not. Let's have a look at the piston. The piston rings are actually fine, so not sure why we had so such low compression. Or maybe they just came loose by removing the cylinder. Let's check for play. We need some actual play, that's fine. We don't have any radial play, which is good. We also don't have any play on this side. So I think the bearings might be fine. However, I do see there's a lot of dirt and just corrosion in this engine. Ooh. So off camera, I removed the crankcase cover and I've already went ahead and sprayed in some brake cleaner and, and some WD-40 to clean up this crankcase. But looking at the state of this, I think I'm going to completely tear down the engine and replace the bearings just to be sure. This thing is pretty simple, so shouldn't be a big deal. Let's try and take this engine block off and or I think I'm actually going to start with removing the ignition system and then take the complete engine off.
So, we have the block of the bike. Uh, we already removed the coils as well. I'm not sure how to get this crankshaft out. Uh, I know there is a bearing retainer in this uh, block here, and I think this might be it. So maybe if I can remove this retainer, or at least loosen it, I might be able to tap the crankshaft out. So let's see if we can loosen these screws and maybe get the crankshaft. These are extremely tight. So apparently you should be able to uh, remove this housing of the ignition system first, and then you should be able to take off the crankshaft. So let's try to take it off with this pulley puller and see what happens. It's coming. Ah, oh, yes, much better. Freedom! So, yeah, a lot of crap. So there, there are two bolts here. This is a retainer for one of the bearings. And hopefully we now should be able to get this crank out. Not yet. Oh yeah, we have to remove the roller first, which is actually quite tricky. I don't think I have a long sleeve socket for this type of nut. Let's have a look. Just got back from the store. Funnily enough, the guy in the store was actually a Solex enthusiast, or he called himself Solex specialist, which is pretty funny. Gave me a couple of tips. So I found this uh, pipe wrench that fits perfectly over the shaft and on the nut. So I'll be able to loosen this with this pipe wrench. And he gave me uh, a tip. This bolt right here, if you take it out, you can fit in a longer bolt and that should lock the crankshaft and therefore you can uh, loosen the nut. So pretty good tip. If uh, we loosen this nut and we take the roller off, then we should be able to get the crankshaft out and that should be the block disassembled. So let's go ahead and do just that. Let's start with taking this bolt out and putting in a longer one. So fit a longer bolt, so this crankshaft can no longer go further than this. And now we should be able to take this nut off. Seems all right, needs a cleanup, but that's fine. And now we should be able to tap this crankshaft out, as he said. So I'm going to put this on the block here so we can tap it uh, maybe half a centimeter and that should maybe get it loose. coming out, nice. Yay! We got it out. We got it. Ooh, sounds rough. 
So the bearing is all also half off. Let's uh, try heating it up and getting it all the way out. There are actually a lot of scratch marks on the bearing race. Did this thing spin a bearing or is this just uh, manufacturing marks? Hmm, pretty strange. Oh. Ooh. 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 What's this? Huh. Never seen that before. So this one goes in first, and then this one. Remind to myself. <laughs> then all I have left to do is take the spark plug, spark plug wire out and the fuel pump. And then we can put this thing in the parts washer and have a go at it. I went ahead and give it a quick wash with the pressure washer. It's already a lot better, but I will continue cleaning this in the parts washer. Probably won't film it because nobody will watch that, but uh, I'll uh, make work of it. So that will probably be it for part one. Thank you very much for watching. If you thought this was helpful, consider leaving a like and consider subscribing. And see you in the next one. Bye.